What's going on YouTube family? M4 Mike's back here for another video. Today I decided to pick a nice view to take the M4 and discuss the tune I got on my BMW M4. I ended up going with the BM3 tune over all others. One, because I read a lot of reviews, said it's easy to work with, minimal issues, and what I recently found out is that it is transferable to other cars. So, if anyone doesn't know, I am going to be buying a new BMW M4. It's a 2015, but only has a thousand miles on it. Just waiting for quarantine to end, then I'm going to pick it up. And again, the luxury of it now is I'm going to transfer the tune from this car to the new one, and that's it. I don't have to buy a new license, anything like that. So that's like the biggest win, and apparently from what I heard, BM3 is the only tune you can do that with. So I went with stage one though, because I wanted a power increase. I had the time had no work done to the car. It was completely, completely stock. So you can't really go to stage two. You need the bolt-ons and all that good stuff for that. So I went with stage one. I can't say exactly how many horsepower it added. It's now showing about 500 horsepower when I really step on it in third or fourth gear, and then 430 pounds of foot torque. Obviously, I know, I know, I know, I know, it's not actually having 500 horsepower to the wheel. I'm aware, please don't try to tell me that that's not, you know, don't, just don't. As far as other things I wanted with the tune, besides, like I said, just going stage one, was I wanted the shifts to be a lot quicker, so I wanted it to really grip a lot quicker, and let me just say, what I asked for, I got, and then some. So they gave me the GTS transmission tune. Any gear I'm in, even if I'm going 80, 90, well over 100, if I'm in a lower gear and shift, and since it shifts so quick, it chirps the tires and it sends off my uh, traction control. Like that's literally how quick it shifts. Um, noticeably better than stock. So that addition for the GTS transmission tune cost an extra $100. The only other big thing I really wanted in the tune was to get Burple tuned. And I wanted it just because, as everyone knows, it gets us that thing everyone agrees with. The stock sound of our exhausts are awful. Absolutely awful. It rattles, it sounds like crap. So I told them I need some sort of more deep tone, but I don't want anything too loud. So they did give me the minor Burple tune, the lowest level. They say if you go any higher than that, you're gonna end up uh, frying your O2 sensors. So you either go down pipes or you just leave it how it is. But I did end up going with the mid pipe the same time I got the Burple tune done. So with the mid pipe, it's a VRSF, and the lowest level of the purple tune, that was an extra $600, which was 500 for the mid pipe and 100 for the purple tune. So total, all in all guys, I paid $800 for the full car tune that I got. Going back, would I go with a different tune? Honestly, I can't say I wouldn't because I don't know what other ones I like, but at the same time, I know what I have with this tune on this car, and I've had no issues with it. It's been tuned for well over 15,000 miles on it. I've beat the living crap out of it, driven it calmly, like all different everythings. And for that reason, I would say honestly, no. Like I wouldn't go with any other tune. BM3 is the way to go. So that being said, that's why I also did go to Castle to handle it for me. They work on BMWs all day, every day. They tune a million and a half cars. Um, and I figured, let's put it in the hands of someone I can trust, just so I don't have to deal with it myself. And like I said, it was 100% it was worth just a little more money to have them do it for me. But overall, guys, BM3 Tune is the way to go. Generally speaking, tuning this car, absolutely the way to go. It's, it, I've never tuned any of my cars before. I've owned two Celicos before, and then I also owned the 350Z, which I was considering getting that tuned, but I was too worried about it being, you know, hard on, too hard on the car damaging stuff and all that so I decided not to but the fact that I tuned this BMW M4 I can honestly say it was the best decision I ever made I will forever be tuning my cars from here on out especially the BMW M4s that I have and the one I'm going to be getting so if anyone's concerned about anything going wrong trust me there's nothing to worry about absolutely nothing to worry about it's amazing you'll have minimal 
or just like me, no issues with it at all. Um, I know they had a software update at the beginning of last year on the BM3 tune that got rid of a couple bugs and stuff like that. And I got my tune last June or July, so it was well after that. And like I said, guys, no issues at all, nothing. Just a lot more fun car, even though it is a lot of fun completely stocked with the 425 horsepower, 405 pounds of torque. Yes, it's a great car. Yes, I loved it the way it was. But for an extra $800 and then with the mid pipe and all that, actually $1,500, $1,700, it was 100% worth every penny and I'll never ever go back. I decided to redo this video because I know the other one, yes, it got for me a lot of views, which was about 730 right now. But I have got 11 dislikes and 12 likes, and I don't want that. I want to provide good content that you guys can actually use to benefit you, whether it's good or bad in decision making, like that's fine. But I just wanted to remake this video, so hopefully this one's a lot more informative. So do me a favor, guys. Make sure you like this video. No more dislikes. I'm going to get better at that. All good content out here. All good content. All right, guys. Just going to wrap up this video. Like I said, short and sweet. Very informative. I'm going to get you guys the best content out there. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, give me a follow on Instagram, and we'll see you all in the next video.